everybody in church is a Christian. Judas is carrot. Some people are used to say, but I found a sister in church. Not Judas is carrot was in church too. Some people used to blame the church. I married in church. The man was even an usher. The man, Judas was the treasurer. Married in church, why should I? And it is the the, 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 I married in church. No, you cannot blame God for your insensitivity, you cannot blame God for your lack of lack of perception, you can't blame God for lack of discernment. Not everybody in the barrack is a soldier, some are relations of soldiers. Some went to sell things there. Some went to look for job. <laughs> you see some people coming to church. One man, one man went to church and pretended that he was a Christian because he wanted to find a good Christian girl. So he pretended, just changed his behavior. And how are you? I'm fine. Then. He didn't know that there was a girl who also came to church, pretended that she was a Christian, and wanted to find a good Christian man she can marry, and he can do anything he wants. And the man who said anything is a good Christian. So, how are you? The man found the sister, and they found each other. They kept on acting until they married. On the first day they reached the house, the man sent for a bottle of beer. I think the girl carried cigarettes. of each other. You deceive me? You too? <laughs> that was very wonderful. I like that. You came to deceive people to marry a deceiver. Another person deceived you and married you. Deceiver versus deceiver. about you but i want this meeting to hold again we can't say everything in one day so you need that is why you need the help of god so that you can know who is real you can know who is real number four marry people with similar vision focus and passion now 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 before you go from there, the number three, Second Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14 to 15. He said, be not unequally yoked, yoked together with unbelievers. Be not unequally yoked. That, that, and, and that is, there are those who, apart from not marrying lovers of God, they went outrightly to marry unbelievers. Please don't ever be assume that somebody who doesn't know God before he marries you, you can change them. You are not Holy Ghost. So you don't have the power to change anybody. I have seen people who tried that, they paid for it. Lovers of God. Lovers of God. Lovers of God. And then number four, marry people with similar vision, similar focus, and similar passion. What do you want to do with your life? Where do you see your life going? As you are going to get someone to marry, find out from them what is on their mind. Where are they going? What do they want out of this life? Different vision is the reason for division. D, friend, vision. The D, I there, if you put it in front of vision, it becomes division. 
is a product of it is diversion division by vision two people who are facing two different directions in life different passions breed confusion you have a passion for business the other person has no single passion for business he wants to be in full-time politics or you, you think you have a passion for ministry and the person he said I, I am a child of God but I am not a pastor's wife I am not an evangelist I am not a prophet I am not a prophetess I am not an apostle I am not an epistle sorry it was a Bible school student they asked him to write on the apostles and he wrote one line right on the epistles he said the epistles are the wives of the apostles <laughs> just forget about it. you know how much it's so <laughs> married people the reason why my wife and i god has helped us in a little way to be the way we are is because the passion is literally one before i met her she had a passion before we ever met a passion for mission a passion to serve god if possible in in the missionary field and those kinds of passions ambitions marry somebody who understand your language when you speak if you are speaking one language your husband is speaking another language the house is called tower of babel tower of babel that was what made babel language language passion vision i know of a woman who said i married a pharmacist not a pastor because the husband was a pharma pharmacist that turned into a pastor another one said i married a doctor not a pastor these two examples I gave led into marital breakage. The other one, the pastor's wife will sit in the congregation instead of the altar with the husband. He said, I didn't marry pastor. I marry pharmacist. I am not a pastor's wife. Ele? Are you following what I'm saying here today? So here is when to settle it. Here before. You are, like the woman of God said, you are putting the man tech, leading questions to find out what is in their heart. You want to live in America. The girl does not want anything near America. That means you are approaching the wrong person. You don't have to force America into her. The person must have America in mind. When you met it, you say, I'm thinking of green card. You say, me too. Do they have yellow card? <laughs> 